Hello, good afternoon. This is David Soto talking to you, and today I'm excited to announce the release of my new Excalibur Trend Indicator, or ETI for short. And with this new indicator, okay, it it replaces my ultimate trend trading system, which I was using previously. And basically, all I did was combine all three indicators from my ultimate trend trading system and put them all into one indicator, okay? I have the Hakanashi the ultimate histogram and the ultimate signal indicator all three indicators combine now into one indicator okay and you really don't see much going on only thing you see are red and blue arrows okay but there's a lot a lot more going on in the background you just don't see it all right so this right here just makes life a lot lot easier to trade with and you can receive push notifications email notifications and also desktop notifications whenever you receive a new signal okay so my recommendation if you're using this is to just use your push notifications okay trade off your cell phone all right and the only downfall of that is you have to leave your computer running you know 24 hours a day or whatever to receive the signals on your phone and if you cannot leave your computer running 24 hours a day then I suggest just getting a VPS or virtual private server and they run anywhere from 10 to 20 dollars a month for a decent one and that at least if you run the software on a vps you don't have to worry about any power outages or not receiving any signals and it'll make life a lot easier you can just trade off your cell phone all right install this one time and let it go um i would probably load this on you know one or two currency pairs you don't need very much all right stick with the major currency pairs euro usd pound usd aed usd whatever the major pairs are for your broker okay those those usually have the lowest spread the lowest commissions and um you know that will increase your profits right so with this indicator now i want to compare i want to go for a minute and just compare it to my ultimate trend trading system so you can see the difference between the two okay I'm gonna go to a one hour chart and show you, okay? This is on a one hour chart. And then here on the ultimate trend trading system, here's an on a one hour chart as well. All right, now everything looks a lot more jumbled up, don't it? And what we see here is, if you've been using this before, you know that uh, you'll get the red and green arrows, right? Up and down the buy and sell. And you can trade off of these no problem, right? But with this, you have a red histogram or a blue histogram on the bottom. And the histogram on the bottom is what confirms the actual trend. Okay. And you want to be trading uh, arrows up here to signals that match the histogram. So if you look right here, I'm just pointing point this out. But if you look right in this area, you have a lot of red arrows. Those are the only ones you want to be trading because you have a red histogram down here. The green arrows you would ignore. <clears throat> right. And um, you also have the Hakanashi, the red or blue Hakanashi candles to help confirm your point of entry. Now, the Hakanashi candles is really not necessary, but it is a nice added bonus, a nice added feature, which is already built into the MetaTrader platform, okay? I just added that as an extra layer of confirmation, all right? So if you have all three indicators in agreement, then you have a perfect time to enter a trade. All right. That is the basic synopsis of how my ultimate trend trading system works. <clears throat> now, if we revert back to my Excalibur now, let's look at my Excalibur and compare the two. Now we see the exact same thing. <clears throat> and it's less cluttered. You know, it's, you don't see all these signals all over the place, all these arrows all over the place. <clears throat> and you don't see the histogram at the bottom. It's very clean, very neat. And uh, one thing I want to point out with this indicator is that um, the higher the time frame, the longer you're going to be in a trade, all right, unless you use a take profit. Now, what I do, this is me personally, I do not use any stop loss or take profit. I simply open a trade on one arrow and close it on the opposite, all right, and just do that all day long, all right. Now, on a one-hour chart, I'm going to point out something. If we look at this right here, I want to look at this right here because that's a pretty big drop. All right. 
you can see right if we opened up you know from from right about here all the way down to here you're looking at about 2700 pips or points right 2700 pips and this downtrend all right that's a pretty big drop in the market now if we I want to draw some vertical lines just to kind of show you how long this trade was open for right this trade was opened up on the 10th of January 2019 and closed on the 24th of January 2019 so that means it's open for two weeks all right so if you have a trade open for two weeks what's going to happen is you're going to incur swap fees okay it's not a big big deal but swap fees can either be negative or positive all right most of the time they're going to be negative you know the vast majority of the time your swap fees are going to be negative and swap fees are simply charges that your broker gives you if you leave a trade open for more than 24 hours okay <clears throat> so if you use a four hour chart for example you can see that these arrows match up right here right but quite often you're going to be stuck in a trade for a long long period of time you might be stuck in a trade for several weeks all right maybe even a month or more if you use a four hour chart okay so that's going to, you're going to incur a lot of swap fees doing that and it's okay you know if you want to do that but for me what I've been recommending people to do and let me delete these vertical lines real quick what I've been recommending people to do is use a five minute chart all right this way if you use a five minute chart the trades you can open and close them within a few hours all right and if we look at let me try to find a good example here uh, we can look at this one here right I actually look, look let's look at this one and look at this one all right so you open here and close here right and I'm gonna get the crosshairs and I'm gonna just draw and see how many pips this is so that says 263 pips which is not bad okay and this is open at on the 4th of March 2019 and closed on the 5th of March open at 2250 and then close at 1050 so that's a 12 hour period all right this is open for 12 hours almost exactly 12 hours and this way it is not incurring any swap fees because it's not open more than 24 hours you understand so typically when you use a, a five minute chart you can even get away with this on a 15 minute chart but on a five minute chart for sure you know all the trades that you open and close are going to be within a 24 hour period okay and that's what we're looking for get in get out avoid any type of swap fees whatsoever okay now the only problem with using this five minute chart is that it's going to repaint all right it's going to repaint quite a bit well not all the time sometimes sometimes it doesn't repaint at all I've, I've experienced but it depends on the market volatility and how much movement there's so what I recommend this is very simple to handle all right when you get an arrow wait about another two or three candles okay so that's about another 10 to 15 minutes later before you enter the trade all right on a five minute chart so what you can do is just set your stopwatch or use your phone set a timer and come back another 15 or 20 minutes and just look at this and say okay i had a red arrow 10 minutes ago or 15 minutes ago it's starting to drop now now's a good time to enter okay and you can trade directly off of your cell phone or tablet whatever mobile device you have and it works like a charm okay and then you just wait once you place a trade just wait for the next uh, signal the opposite signal to receive on your phone okay you'll get a push notification to say buy if you place a sell trade then wait for the buy signal as well okay and the the signals that you, you receive the push notifications are very very simple they just show you uh, they say Excalibur trend indicator and then they'll say the currency pair and the time frame okay and if it's buy or sell all right so it's very very simple okay and I you know I, I tried to design this so everything is super super easy to use 
you know there's have you don't have to do any analysis really just you know just be careful about your point of entry especially on a, a five minute chart like this I would not I strongly recommend do not use a one minute chart because it will repaint like crazy okay and if you look at a one minute chart you know these open and close within an hour but quite often the amount of pips that you get is very very small you might get 10 15 pips on one trade and it's not even worth your time really so stick on a five minute chart even 15 minute chart okay if you do a 15 minute chart which is fine also you know you'll be stuck in a trade let's look at this one here 168 pips and if I draw a vertical line here and a vertical line which one here so this opened on the 22nd of February 1815 and closed on the 25th of February in 1915 so this was open for two days all right <clears throat> so um, you know in this case you will have swap fees all right because this trade was open for a long time but it's still not bad okay um, but like I said if you stick to a five minute chart this is what I've been working with is a five minute chart and all my trades open and close the same day and I don't incur any swap fees and I average at least 100 pips on every single trade okay so sometimes more sometimes less sometimes about 80 90 pips that's about the lowest I've seen it and the most I've seen is about 250 okay but I'm saying average 100 if you get 100 pips on every trade you're doing good okay do that five six times a day you have five six hundred pips easy okay so um, I'm gonna make a subsequent video okay I'm gonna make a subsequent video showing you exactly how to install this and how to set it up but I want to get this video out to you right now just to show you what my uh, Excalibur indicator is about okay how it works is ultra 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 simple very very easy and um, like I said you'll make a lot of money with this indicator okay so if you do not have this indicator just uh, contact me on Facebook and I'd be happy to send out a copy to you and uh, if you have not joined my Facebook group please do so there is a link below in the description of this video from my personal Facebook account uh, I prefer that you contact me on my Facebook account also if you have not joined my Facebook group please join my Facebook group and you can see any testimonials or comments you can post any questions or comments there if, if you like and you can join a, you know a, a community of other traders who are having great success with this all right and that's pretty much it so just uh, let me know if any questions and I'll be more than happy to help you uh, I can walk you through this show you step by step how to use this it's not a problem it's very very easy okay so with that said um, let me know any questions and thank you and have a wonderful day